tale of temptation, fate. My true story about the guardians of the gate, they're the masters of manipulation, intimidation, ruthless elimination. Crack your skull, boy, make you bleed in a fight, cause they be the badass knights of the night. I'm talking Hollywood, baby. Sex, drugs, personality. Now Halla, where reality don't make no sense. A city that takes pride in corrupting innocence. Every bitch wants to be the star of the scene. And all the gay boys want to be every girl's dream. Daily struggles for the blood of human beings. Where being a movie star ain't what it seems. I'm talking Hollywood, baby. Sex, drugs, personality. You sell your soul for a role big show but all you get is a coroner's tag on your big toe think twice about the price you pay about the faith and morals you so easily betray the power of personal redemption is what you need or else all you'll pay for is the sins of your greed i'm talking hollywood baby sex drugs and personality now you ask why is it all gotta end like this we both know it's for the best. Why does it have to end like this? We both know it's for the best. I pay the rent. I put food on the table. All you do is sit around all day and watch TV. I told you, there's no jobs out there for... The... <laughs> oh, I got my line. <laughs> the scene was really starting to flow. Don't you think, Cless? I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. And your emotion still seems a bit rehearsed, Gary. Remember your method. Search deep within yourself for the true passion of the moment. That's all for tonight, class. Jesse, Derek, you'll do your scene on Thursday. Right on. Cool. Remember, everybody, we struggled to succeed in a bullshit business. So, so be, be the best at bullshit. <laughs> be well, everyone. Yeah, you're great, man. I know, I know, but now get this. Two days after I signed with this other acting agency, they get me an audition for that new soap, The Tangled Web. You got another agent? Mm -hmm. I can even get one agent to look at me. You should change your name. I mean, seriously, Jesse Telesco, it sounds too Hispanic. That's because... I am Hispanic, Derek. <laughs> Whatever. Listen, you think that Tom Cruise would be where he is today if his name was still Thomas Mapather the fourth? I mean, come on. I change my name every six months. You know, and Texas towns are really hot right now, like Jesse Dallas or Jesse Amarillo, Jesse Las Vegas. Ooh, no, I like that one. Jesse Las Vegas. <laughs> hmm, Brittany. I don't know how you can eat all those sweets and still keep that gorgeous figure. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say that you look absolutely ravishing tonight. You guys want anything else? We're good. It's cold uh, as... Anybody get a light? Yeah. Uh, okay. I didn't know you smoked, Derek. I don't. Well, that's my cue. I got producer call back tomorrow. See ya. Hey, Brittany, you need a ride? No. I think Derek's going my way. Aren't you, Derek? Well, I am now. Come on. See ya. Man. I bet you that guy gets laid every night. <laughs> yeah, enough for the both of us. Hey, let's go down to the boulevard crashing clubs, huh? Can't, man. I stopped my job at Infinity tonight. You got a job at Infinity? Dude, that's the hottest nightclub in town. I'm just parking cars. Monk runs the valet service there. Want me to see if I can get you on? Nah, nah, I still got a couple months left in my unemployment checks, dude. All right, cool. Well, look, give me a shot later. All right. Be good, dog. Later.
on the list? I said, are you on the guest list? You're, you're kidding me, right? Don't you know who the hell I am? Asshole. My uncle Tony owns this place, and he's gonna be pissed when he finds out that his nephew, Bertram, is out on the sidewalk because some dumbass doorman won't let him in. Hey, relax. I know Tony was your uncle. Come on in. Hey! Do me a favor, will ya? Tell Tony I need to talk to him. Yeah, sure. You struggle to succeed in your bullshit business? So be the best at bullshit. $60 tonight, cash, under the table. I want to earn $60 cash tonight under the table. Rick, here's your bounce. What, this scrawny guy, Tony? Give me a fucking break. He's got no size. It's a $60 body. Find him a shirt, get him a place on the floor. How you doing? Touch a bouncer. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Y'all should have seen that punk ass motherfucker go flying through the air, man. Hey, yo, Gary, what was that move you put on him? What was that? Some kung fu shit? Yeah, yeah. Good work. I'm making this up to you, T-Dog. No sweat.
Not bad. For a skinny little shit, you got some good moves. I could use another guy here on Fridays and Saturdays. You available? Yeah, sure. He pissed himself? Uh-uh. You got a lot to learn. Learn it correctly, this town is yours. Let's get a bite to eat, boys. Gary, feel free to join us. got a permanent table at every restaurant in town. But he likes this place best. How's everything? It's good. Gentlemen. Hiya, Dirk. Sit. <laughs> this is my cousin, Cindy. Um, she's from Pennsylvania, but she's spending the summer with me, so I want to take her to the playroom on Saturday, you know? I mean, she's 22, but she totally forgot her ID in Pennsylvania. Okay, okay, so she's only 19, but... All right, okay, she's 17, but she totally looks 21. All my friends back home in Pennsylvania, they tell me I totally look 21. Please, Dirk, could you let her in? Just this once? All right, come by my house in an hour. I'm sure I've got some free passes laying around my bedroom somewhere. Oh! those things anyway five pound steel strips motherfucker messes with me bang next six months he's sucking his meals through a straw so where do you train train yeah that kung fu shit you do i know you belong to a dojo somewhere right uh yeah yeah you know i you know i uh, you know mostly just train out of my house now though is Brent. I can't believe Derek got a job on the Tangled Web. Mm hmm NTC signed into a three-month contract. Wow. You're kidding me. Hmm. A three-month contract? That guy can't even act. I mean, uh, good for him. Our Derek, a hunk on the Tangled Web. Oh, shit. I'm late for work, man. You? Got a job? Yeah, yeah, I got a job as a bouncer at the playroom. Hey, wow. well, why don't you guys come down tonight? You'll be my guest. Dude, don't forget, we're supposed to hit some agencies tomorrow. We gotta get ourselves an acting agent, bro. All right, be good, my brother. You go ahead, bro. I'm gonna keep looking for a parking spot.
excuse me, I, I have an appointment with Mr. Aaron to represent me as an actor, but, uh, you know, I got a phone call from my wife and her water broke, and I, I gotta get to the hospital, so... If you could give those to Mr. Aaron and tell him I'll let him be my agent for about mm, six months or so, and we'll see how things go, that would be great. Thank you. That was good. Not original, but good. <laughs> Next time, try wearing a wedding ring. Look, I'm sorry. It's just I have tried every acting agency in town, and and, and if someone would just give me the chance. I just, So, Gary Greco, where are you from? A uh, little old town in the heart of Wyoming. Hmm. Now you're in Hollywood. That's a big move. Sometimes it feels like a big mistake. Uh-oh. That sounds like there's a girl involved. Same old sad story, huh? Guy moves to the big city with his high school sweetheart, and she dumps him for some sugar daddy driving a Ferrari. Honey, of course you can deduct your breast implants as a business expense. That's why it's called a boob job, okay? Hey, I know you. From the other night. You work at the playroom, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bouncer there. What is that a fact? Huh. And an actor, too. You got an agent? Uh, I, no, not, not yet. Hmm. Huh. You know what, I think I can help you out. Oh, that, that, that would be great, Mr. Aaron. You won't be disappointed, I'm telling you, I, I can... Sure, sure, listen, uh, Gary, I'm thinking of swinging down this weekend to the playroom. Uh, are you working? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm there every weekend. <laughs> oh, that's great, I'm thinking of bringing down a couple of clients, you know, maybe uh, five or eight. Come on down, VIP all the way, Mr. Aaron, be, be my guest. Thank you. Th yeah, yeah. This is, this is, oh, man, you, thank you, you no guys. Problem. Hey, you know, this is a great picture. Jesus. You got me a cup of coffee? I like it black. Hey, Jesse. Damn, man, I had to drive around the block 10 times before I found a parking spot. Dude, I got an age. No shit. Hey, what do you say about me? even mention me? Well, it's just, it's Jesse, it happened so fast that hey, I... Let's go back up there and introduce me to him. Oh, Jess, hey, um, you know, maybe next time, huh? I just, I don't want to push my luck. I had to park the damn car. I know, man. It, uh, look, I promise I'll bring you back in a few days and you can meet him. Come on, let's grab a beer and celebrate, huh? Fuck. Hey, let's stop by Paige's store first, man. I want to tell her the news. Ah, Gary. Get over her, man. It's been six months, bro. You gotta move on from that girl. I just wanna stop by, all right? And tell her you got an agent. See if she'll take you back. Get over her, bro. And who the hell are you to tell me about women anyway? When's the last time you got laid? Oh, yeah, you wanna bone Britney, but that bimbo won't give you the time of day. And why is that? Because she's got the hots for Derek. And why does she have the hots for Derek? Because he's a working actor, and you, my friend, are a parking valet. who happens to need a push, again. <laughs> Come on, Jess. You can afford a better car than the one you got. Why don't you use some of that tip money from Infinity, man? Yeah, right. All those rich guys that go to Infinity, they think that just allowing me to park the Porsche is enough for a tip. People are stupid to let valet guys park their cars. When the lot is full, we park it on the street wherever we find a spot. Handicap stalls. Red zones, right next to a fire hydrant. Bro, I'll park the car in the ocean if I have to. Oh. Hey, sup, Paige? Hey, Jesse. Hey, Gary. Hey. <clears throat> <laughs> Not too busy in here today, huh? No. Ah, Labor Day weekend, and all I guess everyone's at the beach. Isn't that the guy from the playroom? So, how are your folks doing? Pretty good. How's your mom? Oh, she's good. She, uh, yeah, she asks about you all the time. Yeah, well, be sure to say hello for me. Yeah. Hey, guess what, Paige? I, uh, I got an agent. 
Hey, he took one look at my headshot and, and signed me on the spot. He... Jesse, shoes, couch, off now. Thank you. Anyhow, Paige, I, I really, I think this guy likes me a lot, and uh, I, I got a good feeling. I think things are just gonna kind of... Gary, that's great. I'm, I'm really happy for you, but I, I, I got a lot of work to do. Yeah, sure. I... Hey, you know, maybe we could get together, you know, and, and uh, you know, have some lunch, maybe, maybe go to a movie, dinner. Gary, <laughs> Gary, please, stop asking. You already know what my answer is. Oh, oh, by the way, um, who's Brent? Is he, uh, is he another sugar daddy, or...? I knew that was you. Fifteen hang-ups on my answering machine? You know, if, if, if you don't stop... Hey, don't you work at the playroom? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we'll see you again this weekend? That would be great. <laughs> great bud. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just see you around then, Paige. Bye, Jesse. He took one look at my headshot and said, Kid, you are gonna be a star. <laughs> Can you believe that, Ma? Your son is on his way to fame and fortune. That's nice, dear. How's Paige? You used to see her? Yeah. Ma, she's fine. Such a shame the two of you broke up. You know, maybe you'll work things out. Get back together again. Honey, do you need anything? Money? Ma, I'm fine, okay? I got a job. Oh, good for you. Doing what? I, uh, work at a uh, grocery store. <laughs> Remember this asshole? Hey man, I'm really sorry about the other night. I was drunk, but I wanted to apologize. All right, here's what we're gonna do, you bald-headed dumbass. You come back next Saturday, you can party. You behave yourself, you can come back again, and so on and so on. You get the picture? But you give me trouble again, Gary's gonna kick your ass out the door, and you stay gone from this club forever. Understood? Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks, man. Hey. Don't thank me. Just don't make me kick your ass again. My blood's already starting to boil, so get out of my sight! Uh, Dirk, you're not gonna let that guy back in here, are you? Gary, for a guy like that, this club is his whole life, all right? It's all he lives for. You take that away from him, you just made an enemy. We handle the situation this way, the guy's so grateful he's now our best friend. Understand? Yeah. Know that bimbo? Yeah, she, she's in my acting class. Hey, Brittany, this is. Ladies, consider yourself VIP. There you go. Have a nice time. How you doing? Get used to it, Gary. This job does that to women. Thank you. 
Assign you a position, you stay there. You're my eyes and ears for that part of the club. If you leave your post and trouble breaks out there, I got no chance of shutting down the problem before it gets out of hand. Do you understand what I'm saying? I assign you guys specific locations inside a club because those are the spots where problems usually occur. On any given night, we're out number 200 to 1. And it only takes an instant for a fight to turn into a riot. If that happens, if we find ourselves in a riot situation, we are in serious fucking trouble. Do you understand? Now, if I, I have to... I paid for the fucking food. Sir. I waited an hour to get my food. And when it finally did arrive, it was fucked Tito. Oh. You, stay. You should fucking pay me! You want to know why I take the time to explain things to you, Gary? Hmm? Because you seem like a bright guy. You know, when you talk to people, you, you do it with a, with a certain flair. In this business, big, stupid muscle heads are a dime a dozen. But somebody who can use his brains instead of his fists, somebody who can talk a situation down, is priceless. And my organization is growing. Fast. I can use smart people. But I got no use for irresponsible people who can't follow orders. Understand? All right, I'm working a special gig on Labor Day. Private little party. I'm working the door myself. I think I'll let you work it with me. Well, oh, hey, any trouble finding the place? <laughs> what, are you kidding me? I just followed the noise. The party's in full swing, huh? Yeah, go in and take a look around. Get familiar with the layout of the building. A little thin on babes so far, huh? Yeah, something like that. party in there. No shit, sweetheart. When I said a little louder, Gary, I don't think the boys in the back heard you. You never told me this was a party for those kind of people. It's the best gig in town. These boys just want to have fun. No fights, no hassles. Six hours work, you get 300 bucks. I, I, I get $300 for this? You get 100 up front, and then I kick you down some of my cut from the door. What do you mean you do? I cut from the door. We're on the guest list. Wilson? I'm sorry, I don't see your name. It's right there, near the bottom. There it is. My apologies. Wilson, party of uh, three. Three. Have a good time, gentlemen. <laughs> so I take it that's a cut from the door. That, my quick learning friend, is a dead president's handshake. And Mr. Jackson happens to be my favorite. <laughs> all right, listen, watch the door. I gotta take a piss, all right? This clicker is for the ins, this one's for the outs. We're way over capacity, so if the fire marshal shows up, add 100 clicks to the outs. Oh, I'm going dirt. How, how, how do I know who the fire marshal is? Well, the big red fire trucks that he brings with him are usually a dead giveaway. Would you relax, man? This area isn't even zoned. I don't want anybody in until I get back. Hi, sweetie. Stop being bad. Hi, handsome. We're on the list. Dirk has, has the guest list. But he'll be back in a minute, but I, I, I can't let anyone in. Excuse me? 
We were invited here by the promoter of the party. So you better get oh, off. You heard him. I don't mind. Not with a big boy like this to keep me company. What's your name, big and strong boy? Uh, Gary. Oh, hi. Uh, Gary. Dolores, Carrington, how are you, ladies? This kid won't let us send Dirk. Really? Is that true, Gary? You said not to let anybody in. Indeed I did. He follows orders. I like that. Ladies, have a good time. So when do the rest of us girls get in? Soon, okay? Don't get your panties in a wad. Doing a good job, bro. By the way, I think Carrington likes you. <laughs> Those chicks? Come on, man, they're lesbians. No. Bag hats. Rich broads, usually married. They like these kind of parties. They can dance and cut loose and not get hassled because they know these guys aren't trying to get into their panties. I understand. <laughs> All right. Get in there and take it like a man. Hey, Jess, I hate to be a pain, bro, but, but can you give me a ride to work? Man, my car's still in the shop. I can give you a ride back here to Infinity. Yeah. Dude, that would be great. That way I can walk to the playroom, grab my car later. See you in 15. Whoa, whoa, it, you know what? Make it 25. I gotta grab a shower. Cool. Hi. <laughs> Dude, where the hell did you get that? I'm parking it. Come on. Oh, that is sweet. <laughs> oh, man. So, how much to fix your car? You don't want to know. <laughs> stopping for? Found it in the ashtray. Hey, come on, Jesse, man. You know I don't do drugs. Gary, get real, bro. It's half a roach. It's not gonna kill you. Crazy, man. Hey, 
Hey, come on, man. I gotta get to work. Dude, don't worry about it. In this car, I'll get you there in no time, bro. Hey, last week, I gave Brittany a ride in a Mercedes 450 SL. Wow. Yeah. I don't know what it is about that girl, but just looking at her makes my loins ache. I can't even get a kiss out of her. <sighs> man, all of a sudden, I'm fucking starving. I don't believe it. I do. <laughs> no, no, man, look. Check out Derek. He's got his own TV show now. I bet you that guy can't even count the number of women he's laid. <laughs> I bet he can. <laughs> Don't start tripping on me, bro. I'm taking you to work. Gary! Yeah. Consider it done. I'll be there tomorrow with two of my best men. Pleasure doing business with you, Tobias. Slimy fucking weasel. You're late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dirk. I, le I left my car at the... Yeah, listen, I just booked a new account. Local bar, four nights a week. I told the owner I'd bring two of my best men down tomorrow, maybe train a new doorman. You available? <sighs> yeah. Sucks, Dirk. I, I've already been in three fights tonight. There's no more customers to even throw out of the place. Good. A few more nights like this, and the scum will know better than to come around here anymore. You got a problem here? No problem, officer. Just uh, too much to drink. We'll keep an eye on him for you. This place. I wish I was back at the playroom. I mean, or what about Infinity, Dirk? Why are you trying to get that account, man? That... Don't you ever mention that fucking place to me again, you hear me? I had that gig once. Just a fucking front for drug money. Fucking Russian mafia. Krukov, the uh, owner. Got some of my guys strung out on smack. The guy's overdosed. I see Krukov. I'm gonna bury him in a hole so deep, don't nobody but God ever see him again. You hear me? Yeah. Don't you ever, don't you ever mention Infinity or Krukov to me again. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Derek. I, I didn't know that there was any bad blood there. said it was okay to come in. Hi, yeah. Um, come on in. Gra grab a seat. Thanks. <clears throat> can I can I get you something to drink? Yeah, I'll have a beer. Uh, Lady Di, could, could I get a beer and a diet soda, please? Sure. Thanks. <sighs> so... Have some auditions coming up. You know, I haven't heard from Mr. Aaron, except for he comes down to the playroom with 20 of his friends who want to get in for free. Here you go. Thanks. Uh, Gary, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Aaron isn't with the agency anymore. He was fired. Well, what about my auditions? Gary, Aaron never sent your pictures out. He never tried? 
to get me an audition? Not one? I'm sorry, I had to tell you that, Gary. Son of a bitch. But I wanted to tell you because I'm leaving too. Oh, no. I'm starting my own agency. Eh, it won't be much at first, just a couple of folding chairs and some telephones. And I'd like to represent you. I know this is a lot to absorb right now. So think about it. Let me know what you want to do. And fucking Aaron never sent me out once? Are you dumb or just stupid? Turn your happy ass. How tough do you feel now? Tough guy. Look in my eyes. Do you see fear? No, you don't. Because looking at me is like looking in a mirror, brother. I ain't your fucking brother! Yes, you are, man. You and me, we're the same. You're holding a gun to my nuts for every cop that beats you. For every rich prick that laughed at you. For every cigarette your stepfather snuffed out on your stomach. We're the same, me and you. The only difference is I found a way to live with my violence. And you're still looking to make somebody pay for yours. You want to kill me? Pull the fucking trigger. Or just walk away. just fucking happened to me. Watch your door for a minute, will you, Gary? Here? I think you're ready to become a doorman. Hey, Gary! I'm on a guest Gary. list! Mr. Jackson! Hey, Gary! How you doing tonight? Just the two of you? All right, go on in. Have a good time. Ladies, is it cold out or are you just happy to see me? Well, I'll take that as a yes either way. Come on in. How you doing, baby? Hey. Woo! How you doing? You should have had him show you their tits! <laughs> well, I guess you should have been in my house last night then, huh? I couldn't. I was down here waiting in line. Jeez. <laughs> a funny man. Front of the line. How you doing? Hi, hi. What's your name? Robert. Robert, well, it's said. Uh... Ronnie, Sam, I need backup backstage. T-Dog, you better get in here. Uh, does that mean I get in? Nah, I just wanted you to come to the front of the line so I could shake your hand. 
Oh, no, come on, Robin. I'm just kidding. Come on. It's going down. It's going down. Shit. No one gets you. Okay, bro? Yeah. Thanks, man. Look, just call the cops, okay? No cops. We taking these motherfuckers down to the cage. Gary, you have to stop them. They're gonna kill those guys. Jesse, I, I can't. I, I was driving by and I saw you guys. I just wanted to say hi. I've been real busy at work, you know? Just haven't had a chance to say hi to anybody. But hey, how are you guys doing anyway? Ah, oh, cool, man. You know, I'm still at Infinity, parking cars, you know, waiting for my big break. You guys want anything? Gary! Oh, I had a great time at the club last weekend. Thanks for letting me in. Not a problem. Um, can I get you a drink? You, you know what? I, I gotta go to work, but, but thanks. Well, come back when you can stay a while. Have dinner with me. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, it's just the job, you know? How's that effect on chicks? Y you know what? I do. I gotta go, you guys. But listen, why don't you guys come down to the club anytime? It it carte blanche. It's all on me. All right? Cool. It's good to see you. Man. Hey, don't be a stranger, bro. All right, man. See you guys. He is such a hunk now. How's it going, man? Fucking crazy, bro. I ain't never seen a pack like this before. What? <laughs> What is wrong with you? How far over capacity are we? Dude, almost 200. Did I tell you to let people through that door while I was gone? No. I told you to keep that fucking thing shut until I got back. Tobias told me to let people in. Fuck Tobias! You don't work for him. Tobias owns the club, white boy. And I own this fucking door. And when you work my door, you do as I say, or your black ass is on the street. Do you understand? you a fucking question. Yeah. How you folks doing? Did you miss me that much? Okay, listen, listen up, people. I'm, I'm real sorry that you've all had to wait for so long, and I promise I will get you in as quick as I can. In the meantime, please accept my apologies.
Sorry, buddy, not tonight, you're not. Hey, Matt, my uncle owns this club, and he told me to uh, come down and check it out. No shit. Frank is your uncle? Yeah, Frank. That's him, yeah. Uh, the owner's name ain't Frank, buddy, but you get an E for effort. Now, folks, I'm going to have to ask you to line up on either side here, fellas. I'll try and get you in as quick as I can, I promise. We're just really full right now. Fire Marshal, Ronnie, Lance. Start getting people out the back door. You tell them the first ones to get back in when this is over, they drink for free the rest of the night. Let's go. CJ! Hey, listen to me. You cover all the rest of the exits, all right? Make sure nothing's blocking them. T-Dog, get your ass up to the VIP room. Sweep it for drugs. Tony, you go with them. Grab all the underage girls. Get them into the DJ booth and, and lock the door. Lisa, make sure fire extinguishers behind the bar. Tell Bridget to get out the back and tell Ginger to get her ass out here. She'll know what to do. <sighs> Evening, sir. Is it something I can help you with? Yeah, well, uh, we're going to be entering a club, uh, checking out some occupancy violations. Yeah, please step aside. Uh, I can assure you that my count is, is very accurate, sir. You don't actually think I'm going to believe your count, do you? Well, I... I uh... I can assure you that it, it is very, very close. Give or take, give or take a few. Well, why don't you let me be the judge of that? Ooh, I love a man in uniform. You men, cover the back exits! I'm not gonna tell you again. Step aside. All right, he's in. Sir? Captain Daniels, what do you got? Well, sir, we've got about 300 people standing in the alley outside the club. Outside the club? Yes, sir, uh, off the premises. Are any of them <laughs> carrying containers of alcohol? Uh, well, a number of them appear to be drunk, sir, but uh, no one seems to have any cans or glass or bottles in their hands, sir. At this particular time. This is good, doesn't it? No, sir. I know I'm good. Can I offer you a popsicle? You're on my shit list, kid. Watch your step. Good moves under pressure. And with style, I like that. What's your name? Why don't we start with yours first? And well trained, too. You work with Dirk Geron, yeah? Like I said, who's asking? My name is Grigory Kukov. I own the Infinity Nightclub, and you're gonna come work for me. Don't you already have a doorman, Mr. Krukov? Not anymore. You start tomorrow, $1,000 a week cash. So in other words, you'd like me to take a pay cut? <laughs> All right. Let's cut the bullshit. $2,000 a week, cash. And we both know that a good doorman can double that under the ropes. Now, I dare you to turn down that offer. All right, so if we level this building here, we'll have room to build a parking garage on this entire block? Yes, exactly. All right. I'll let you know what I decide tomorrow. Thank you. I understand the fire marshal paid you a little visit tonight. Yeah. So did Krukov. What'd I tell you about mentioning that fucking name around me, huh? You're fucking kidding me, right? You belong to the nightclub. My organization is what takes care of you.
text you. It makes sure that you always have work. Krukov made me an incredible offer. I made you. A year ago, you were nothing but a punk-ass kid with a big mouth. I taught you the business. I molded you into a player. I made you a knight. And I made you wealthy. Your business is booming because I bring in more money for you than the rest of your doormen combined. You're able to make that money because my organization provides you with an umbrella protection. Any door you work is secure because the criminal element in this city knows that door belongs to the nightclub. You leave, you lose that protection. Now let me tell you something else, Gary. You leave me for that fucking Russian, I will consider it a personal betrayal. What does that mean, Dirk? Bury me in a hole so deep that only God ever sees me again, is that it? I won't have to. If you go to work for Krukov, you'll bury yourself. Young lass in my club with no ID. How old are you, young maiden? <laughs> you, young lady, are drunk indeed. What'll it be, folks? Penalty box! Penalty box! Penalty box! Well, the masses have spoken. Penalty box, 30 minutes. Locked up, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Yeah. He completely <laughs> fell out. <laughs> yeah. Krukov, this blow you gave me sucks. I told you to lay off that shit when you're working. I'm starting to get more and more complaints at the door. You're rude to people. So people who can't get into the club get mad. 
Then they complained. So who did they complain about me, the person who wouldn't let them in? Do you want to keep your club elite, Krukov? You got to keep the scum out. That means you need a son of a bitch at your door. And that son of a bitch is me. <clears throat> now, if we're done, gentlemen, I have a club to run. Okay, get it. I must say, you do look hot as a redhead, Brittany. Oh, my name's Desiree now. Desiree Corpus Christi. Wow. Mm. So what's all the fracas about? This fucking bitch is trying to steal my boyfriend! He is my boyfriend! Ladies, please. How you doing, bro? Pretty good, man. Got a couple bimbos fighting over you, huh? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Why don't you straddle on up to the bar over there and grab yourself a drink on me? No, that's OK, bro. I want to kind of see how this turns I out. I wasn't asking. Hey, 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 hey! The problem is now gone. So you ladies have a choice. You can follow him out the door, or you can forget about him, stay here, party, and have a good time. What'll it be? Are we uh, forgetting about something? So do you. It's, it's been a long time, Paige. Yeah. Like, what, a year? Yeah. <laughs> when did you start smoking? Oh, that's, uh, that's just part of the job. Uh, come on in. I'll uh, show you around. Oh, Gary, this is my husband, Brent. You know what, um, I'm just gonna need you to wait here for a couple of minutes and uh, I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. I just had some business to attend to. Come on in. Thanks so much for coming down. Hey, bro, you almost ready to go? Look, I just need a... What? Oh, man. oh bro. Time, no, We're gonna kick it tonight. Get something yeah, to eat, yeah, go to yeah, Big yeah. City. Hey, man, have you seen Brittany? I was gonna ask her see if she wanna go with us tonight. She dyed her hair red, man. <laughs> oh, that girl looks hot. <laughs> Jess, it was a wig. And y you know what? No, I... I just, I, I'm not gonna go, man. I, I'm tired. I'm just gonna go home and just kick it, all right? Yeah. But, um, but listen, why don't you come down to the boat this weekend and, you know, we'll have a couple beers. Oh, can you, uh, grab my vet for me? <laughs> Hello, Dirk. How you doing? Where's T Dog? He, uh, gonna get himself killed? Leavenworth. Military police arrested him last month in the playroom. Seems he was AWOL from the Army for a couple of years. <sighs> it's almost too bad, isn't it? Yeah. You just never know when you're gonna get fucked over. <sighs> Isn't that a fact, huh? Well, I'll see you around. Harry, good to see you. How you doing, Tyler? Hold your fucking horses, I'm coming. Jesse, hey. What are you doing here, man? What do you mean? You asked me to stop by this weekend, bro. Man, I still can't get over this place. Living on the waves, driving the new vet. Infinity's done you good. So how, how is everything going? Yeah, you know, same old, same old. What about acting class? I don't know. I haven't gone. I can't afford it. Gary, <laughs> what are you... Oh, hi, Jesse. Excuse me. Jesse, come on. Come on, it's not what it looks like. Jess! Hey, let, me, let me at least give you some money, huh? Jesse! You know that? Get the fuck out of here. Hey, 
Hey, man, you gonna let some people in or what? Tell Jesse I wanna see him, would you? Jesse just quit, man. What? Walked in here, and he just quit. Shit. Puto maricón. The fuck you been? I asked you questions. Hey! What the fuck are you to talk to me, huh? Just get one thing straight. I am the king here. You're just a fucking errand boy for Krukov, so don't you ever, ever lay your fucking hands on me again. You got that? Greetings, rich people with attitude, assorted middle-income wannabes, and those of you who are just plain fucking losers. Kruka. Yes, Dimitri, what is it? Urgent problem is Gary. Let's just cut out the bullshit tonight, shall we? The first ten people who lay a hundred dollar bill in my hand can get in. Oh man, you can't do that. I've been waiting an hour to get in. I can do any fucking thing that I want, asshole. Including just now deciding that you will never get into this night. Man, fuck you! Hey, fuck you! Oh, 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 man! Come on, let him go! You know what? Yes. People were all scum. Okay, we're out of here. It ain't worth the fucking dirt of my shoe. We're out of here. Hey, hey! And fuck y'all, too. Matter, your geek husband couldn't get in? Your mom called last night. She's worried about you. Y you don't return her calls, you don't talk to her anymore. Look, can we can we go somewhere quiet and talk? I know just the place. They can't see me. No one can see you. Gary. Gary, stop it. I said stop it. I think it is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's right. It's little Miss Goody Two Shoes, isn't it? Come on, don't tell me that you and your sugar daddy don't toot a little, huh? Probably needs a little something just to get it up at night. How huh? dare you talk to me like that? Damn. Fuck! Don't you ever do that again. Or I'll have my people bury you in a hole so deep don't nobody ever see Paige Winston again. You got that? Oh my God, Gary. What is... What, what has happened to you? I... I can't believe what you've become. Huh? King of the Hill, baby! You do not know how lucky you are to be in here with me right now. Oh. Do you know how many women out there would 
killed to be in your shoes right now? All of them. So let's just drop the hard to get act page, okay? Because we both know why you're here. Because you dig the new Gary. Oh yeah. Yeah, you you love me now that I'm a somebody, huh? Now that I got nice wheels, cool threads, and a big wad of money, all of a sudden, Paige Winston comes calling again. You know what? You, uh, maybe, maybe you hate me. Harry. Is that it, Paige? Maybe you're, you hate You're me. hurting me. You're, you're, now that you realize it was a, a mistake to dump me, does that really piss you off, huh? You're hurting me. Huh? Well, maybe it's time that you gave me the fucking respect. Please, Mr. Marshall, if I could have 10 minutes of your time. Hey! Hey! Oh, what a pleasure it is to see you again, young man. So what the fuck do you think you're doing? Shutting down this nightclub. You can't just barge in here and start throwing people out. I'm just responding to a formal complaint. Someone called a station and said this uh, place was way too full of people. Captain, watch your count. Uh, 2860. And I've still got a good 300 more people inside. You're at least 500 people over legal capacity. In accordance with BCF, Code 41A, I hereby revoke your license to operate a nightclub. Pending a formal review by the Alcohol and Beverage Control. I think the IRS will probably want to take a close look at your accounting books. You're out of business. Where the fuck were you? The hell would do this to me? Call and wish you a happy birthday. I'll put a birthday card in the mail next week. Is everything all right, dear? Do you need some money? <laughs> no, Ma, I'm fine. Are you sure? I have a little put away for a rainy day. <gasps> Ma, come on. I'm 26 years old, you know, I should be able to take care of myself. Well, just let me know if you need anything. How's Paige? Have you talked to her lately? You know, Paige and I, we, uh... We don't see each other anymore, you know. You know, I gotta go, okay? And I'll, I'll give you a shout next week, okay? And, and you look for that card, okay? I love you. Jesse? Gary? How, how are you doing, man? Um, uh, great. I, I got a movie. Um, it's not a big part, but, you know, three weeks' work. Derek starring in it. He got me the job. Pretty cool of him, huh? Yeah, yeah, that, that's great, man. Congratulations. Oh, hey, um, this is Ru Um, this is my girlfriend. Look, man, we gotta get going. Uh, see you around. Hey, um, Jess, why, why don't I give you a call sometime, huh? We'll, we'll, we'll hook up. It was like old times.
Hey, hey Jesse, I'm, uh, I'm not on the boat anymore, so I'll, I'll give you a shout and I'll leave you my new number, all right? Sorry, bro. The owner ain't hiring. Are you sure, man? Because, look, I can run the door. I he can, ain't I... hiring. Look, is there anything else? I mean, come on, man. I, I can look, bartend. Man, I need to... Everybody knows what went down in Infinity. You put a lot of people out of work. It's gonna be hard to get a job at any club around town. That wasn't my fault, all right? There was a lot of other shit... Whatever, man. The answer's still no. You know this fucking guy, right? <laughs> Every time this chick he digs walks by, he puts another plate on the barbell. But the thing is, man, he's not lifting that weight. He just wants her to see him put the plate on, so... <laughs> hey, Dirk. So I was just wondering if, uh, you know, if, if, if maybe you and I could, could talk. I was, I was kind of hoping maybe, you know, we could, we could go somewhere private. Um, you know, maybe you and I, you know, we could... You need a job, Gary. Not just a place for you. What's the fucking problem? What is the problem? Why can't they have drink? Why can't they have drink? I want double vodka on rocks. Listen Very simple. To me. You, please, would you just leave? He can't serve you. Fuck you. I want drink. Okay? I want the fucking thing. I you told you, you don't have ID. He can't serve you if you don't have ID. Fuck you. You go outside, I show you ID. Real good, motherfucker. This yeah, motherfucking Ruski, let's go. God damn it. Ah! The hell did you do that for? I had it under control. I've been here for 20 minutes and you've thrown three guys out already. Ain't it great? No, it is not great. I was handling the situation. Now, thanks to you, we made an enemy out of that guy. Okay, if we're gonna build this shithole into a real club, we need to establish a good rapport with the clientele. I don't know what all them big old damn fancy words mean, but the only thing they're gonna build here is a parking garage. What? You dare tell you? Next next week, they're bringing in bulldozers. They're gonna level this whole damn block. Oh yeah. No. No, come on. Look, I'm a doorman, okay? I run nightclubs, it's what I do, and Dirk wouldn't give me this job unless he was gonna build something out of it. He's gonna build something. He's gonna make a parking garage. What the hell don't you understand, son? This time, next week, the only thing you and I are gonna be guarding is a construction site. Which means I'm gonna have to bring my own damn beer and that's pissing me off. Hey, where are you going? Hey, 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 Slick, we got another four hours. You gonna get paid. You know what? I'm done now. In fact, I'm done for good. I'm th through with this shit. Ah! Ah! Son of a bitch in the dead man!
Can you look at me, motherfucker? Fucking look at me! Did you get him, boy? Hey! Shit, where'd you get that gun? Wh wh where the hell are you going? Hey! This is Paige and Brent. We can't take your call right now, but if you leave a message, we'll get back to you shortly. Have a nice day. Hi, uh... Paige, it, it's me, Gary. Listen, I, I hope you don't, uh, mind me phoning. I, I got your new number from your mom. I... Listen, I just, I just wanted to phone and tell you that, uh, Sorry for, for the way I've been and, and I hope that someday you'll find it in your heart to forgive me. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. Gary? Gary, hi! You remember me? Diane. It's okay, I'll just meet you in the checkout, okay? Are you okay? I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? I'm, I'm, I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, good. I uh, opened my own agency. Yeah, it was... It was a struggle at first, but now things are going really great. What are you doing? Are you still in the business? I, I, I'm uh, going to deliver my mom a birthday card, and that's all I know for sure that I'm, that I'm going to do. Deliver it to your mom in Wyoming? I understand. Look, let me give you my card. Come back to Hollywood. You look me up. You give me a call? Can't promise you anything, but I will try to get you work. Okay?
Think twice about what price you'll pay, about the faith and morals you'll so easily betray. The power of personal redemption is what you need, or else all you'll pay for is the sins of your greed.